We're going to be using Windows Live Movie Maker to do video editing. Windows Live Movie Maker is free downloadable software from Microsoft. If you type Windows Live Movie Maker into a search engine, you should find this link here, which is the Windows Microsoft website. So click on that. And then this is the Movie Maker page. So if you scroll down the page, it'll tell you more about Movie Maker. Over on the left here, it's got some very simple videos that show you how to use the software, but they do go quite quickly. So I'm going to make some of my own uh, tutorials to just slow it down a little bit. So if we go back up to the top, there's a button here to download now. So just click on that and you'll be able to download it to your computer. To open Movie Maker, I'm going to go to my start menu and I'm going to select it from there. If you can't find it, you can use the search programs and files box at the bottom, which you probably won't be able to see on your screen. But I'm just going to select it from um, my menus up here. Just shrink it down so you can see it. Right, so the first thing you'll need to do is to actually add videos and photos to your story. So if you click on add videos and photos. And then we're going to go and find the folder that I created, so mobile reflections. And then these are the two files that I put in that folder. So just select the file and open. And you can see that it's actually dropped it into the um, screen there. And then I also want to add the video. So again, I'm just going to select that and open. And it'll add the video onto the end. If you want to rearrange the elements that you've put in there, then you simply select by holding down the left button. So I'm going to select the movie that I've just dropped in and drag it. And you'll see it says move and a little line appears. So that shows where you're going to drop it. So just let go of the button and you'll drop the movie into that location. This little window here is a preview window. So if I use the controls down here, I can actually play the movie to see what it's going to look like. You'll see that the video is sideways, and this is because I was actually hold I took this video on my iPhone and I was holding the iPhone in portrait format rather than in a kind of landscape format. And unfortunately this is what happens when you import the videos into Movie Maker, they come out sideways.